Offense in the country in Denver, five and a half goals per game. The top defense in the country for North Dakota, a program that has allowed just 1.9 per game this season. Yeah, and I think it makes just for a great matchup. Right as you bring up the offensive-defensive matchup, it flips to the other side for these two teams. In a minute 45 in, that puck off of the save and the rebound, I think just trickled in on its own. I don't think North Dakota tapped it home, but Freddie Halleck has given up the first one of the night. It's a 1-0 Fighting Hawks lead. Dylan James going through the line first, so you wonder if he didn't get a stick on it in tight, but you're right, it almost looked like the momentum of that puck might have been doing so against Louis Jamernick, who is one of the familiar names you might remember as a Pioneers fan, is a wrister opportunity, and right in response, Cy Booyah comes through. Denver's tied it up with 17.20 to go. Buckle your seatbelts, folks. It's going to be a good one. Shai Booyah did not play last Saturday. Held him out of the lineup, just precautionary. He makes his presence. That minder. Carter King wins the faceoff up top as Shai Booyam sends that down in. It was on another opportunity for the Reds. And then on the back end, Carter King puts it home. Two to one, Denver. One thing about Denver, they come at you in waves. They have four lines that can absolutely go. Lorenz gets it off the end wall, throws it in front. Carter King is there. He's able to get his punt. And to Tristan Rose and down low to Miko Matica. Another wrister from up top, and that triples off the person and in. And Denver is roaring in the first, a 3 1 lead. Person was motioning potential interference on the goaltender, but I really don't see it. If anything, it's his own player yeah. that he ended up bumping the play, called for the high stick. So 37 seconds were gone on the North Dakota power play chance, and now even at four on four, as Jack Devine drops it back, Massimo Rizzo walks in, finds Devine, it's four to one in the first! He's really unhappy with it now. Rizzo, a good play to find Devine on the back door. Jack Devine leads the country in goals entering. Lost it back in behind himself on the near side. Racing forward through a crowd of pioneers. A shot right on and turned away as Jackson Blake put that off the left path, but then found a cutting McLaughlin. And North Dakota's cut the deficit back to two. It's four to two in the second. Jackson Blake, we talked about him early in the telecast. He's just, he's just tireless. He's relentless. And when he's on the ice, he makes good things happen. And he's all those things, and he's really skilled. And in this building, as there always are with a, a North Dakota team in town. But for Pioneers fans, you can tell there's a little anxiety right now with North Dakota down only two. And a minute 25 to go with the extra man. Blake drops it back. Perron across, and there it is. And it's four to three. Really good puck movement by North Dakota. They're able to slide it across to Cameron Berg. Good deception there on the pass by Perron. And Berg, the lefty. Five seconds taken away as Freddie Howlett counts it down. Zeeb Booyam walking in. Weeb is sprung from the box. No shots on the power play chance for Denver. And somehow that slips through Person. And it's into the back of the net. And the Pioneers, at the end of the power play, have gotten a two-goal lead back. I have no idea how that got through. Five, three.
three. I was just about to say the power plays ending in Denver really didn't generate a whole lot of momentum off of that man advantage. If anything, North Dakota was only gaining more momentum. A couple of breakdowns, especially when that puck's below the goal line. That was one a moment ago, but Halleck with a big save. Nice move here by Jackson. Blake, what a dance move, and what a goal for the sophomore from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. It's back to a one-goal game again. Charlie, this felt like it all started from Owen McLaughlin's face-off win. Big face-off win, and then Jackson Blake does what Jackson Blake does. Turns a couple of guys inside out, and then he gets a... With this draw in the Ozone. Yeah, Denver had turned the tide there a little bit and then had possession. Chance here for Jamernick, and he's in and scores! And North Dakota has come all the way back from a three-goal deficit, and we're tied with 6.39 to go in the third. Off of a defensive zone face-off, North Dakota able to win the race up the ice. Good job to tap that puck across into the middle by Dylan James over to his line mate, Louis Jammerick and Jammer. McLaughlin finds Gaber, the captain. Dropped it back for Jammerick. Pike back to Gaber. Here's Pike once more to Gaber in the circle. Jamernick screening in front of Freddie Halleck. Pike finds Gaber again and shoots and scores the go-ahead goal. And the Fighting Hawks just steamrolling toward the end of regulation in this one. Great shot off the stick of Gaber. He's able to take that pass, pull it in, and let this shot go. His eighth goal of the season, second. Nonverbal says a lot. He showed that bench. North Dakota, they're just up, they're moving, they're into it. Here's a chance for Cameron Bird. 7-5. Wow. insult to injury if you're a Pioneers fan listening to this North Dakota contingent which is always so impressive in these games no matter where the Fighting Hawks travel but you can see this coming for Cameron Bird. Well you had just described it Tyler where North Dakota they seem fresh they have all